Hi, and welcome to Soundtrap for Storytellers. This first tutorial will make sure that you get the information you need to get your podcast started. And we'll run you through all the features and steps to make it perfect. First off, you need to set up all of your hardware. Connect your USB microphone or interface to your computer. You can also use your headset microphone. You might have to change your input setting to make sure you've selected the right microphone, which you can do right here in your track menu. You can get to it by clicking here. And before you start, make sure to try everything out, just to see that it's recording. You don't want to record for 30 minutes and realize you've recorded a dead cable. Now, over to how to invite your guest. Your guest does not need a Soundtrap account. You can just set up a link right here and send it to them. When they jump in, all they need to do is select their input, enter their name, and hit Join Call. Once your guest is on the chat, set up your tracks for recording here. Double check your inputs and hit set up. Make sure that all of your tracks are record enabled by having this button engaged. Now, when you're all set, just hit record. Once you're done recording, don't forget to save your podcast because you don't wanna lose it. Make sure that you don't let your computer go to sleep to avoid the recording cutting off and the project not being saved. And now let's jump into editing. Making it easier and more intuitive to edit your podcast than before, here is our interactive transcript tool. Click on Settings, Podcast Tools, and then go to the Transcript tool. Now, click on both tracks to get them transcribed. Once Soundtrap is done transcribing, the entire transcript will show up like a text document, and you will be able to read through it. If you find transcription errors, you can easily correct them by right-clicking and choosing Text Correction. You can also select what you want to edit and press the E. If there are some segments you decide you don't want in the podcast, you can delete them by taking them out of the transcript. You can also move them to a different location by cutting them out and moving them to another place. And look at this. When you edit the text, the audio will be edited at the same time. In the studio, you will find a lot of other features that will help you edit your podcast into perfection. Editing tools. Use Command, Control E to cut in a region. Trim, use the lower corners of a region to edit their length. Loop, use the upper corners to loop regions. Volume, the volume knob is right here. Automation will change your volume over time, so if you want to fade tracks in or out, you can do that here. Adding effects like reverb, compressors, and EQs is done by clicking on the track icon and then adding them. Loops and sounds. If you want to create a jingle, you're free to use the loop library right here. And if you want to find sound effects or create soundscapes, you can search for sounds right here in the loop tab as well. Here you'll find anything from creaking doors to bird chirps. Just drag the ones you want into the studio and place it where you want it. Once you're done, we're gonna go to publishing your podcast to Spotify. Create a new podcast show and fill out all of the details. Remember to be as specific as you can to make it easier for your listeners to find you. Choose what episode you'd like to upload and fill out the info for that too. And don't forget to set your release date. You'll have to do this again for each episode you make. Click Next, review your release, and then hit Publish. Once this notification pops up, your episode will be uploaded to Spotify with the entire transcript. This will make your content searchable and could make it easier for your listeners to find your podcast through search engines. Soundtrap is also able to record up to two tracks using an audio interface. So if you want to record your guest in the same room, you can do that too. Start by connecting your interface to the computer. Connect your microphones to the interface. Now once in the studio, set up two tracks by clicking on Add New Track, then click on Advanced to reveal your inputs. Change your input for your microphones. So for example, choose Input 1 for Track 1 and Input 2 for Track 2. Make sure that your tracks are record enabled by having the R button engaged. Finally, here are a few good tips to think about when you record your podcast. Close windows and doors to the room. Try to record in a room with more fabric, like carpets and curtains. Set your mood with light and something to drink. Avoid hitting the table too much if your microphones are attached to it. So, now you've gotten a brief introduction on how to record, 
edit, and release your podcast. 